Hey everyone, Jay here. I just wanted to come on really quick before the episode starts to let you know that I have a big announcement. So stay tuned after the episode ends to hear what it is. And now, Exploring the North Shore with Martha and Jay. Welcome back, North Shore fans. Uh, This is Jay. And Martha. And we are here with Exploring the North Shore, and this week's topic is going to be on one of my favorite activities to do as a kid in the winter (laughs) growing up on the North Shore, and something I will probably never do as an adult, but... (laughs) If this is an interest to you, then this is the podcast to listen to. And this is all about ice skating on the North Shore. This is Exploring the North Shore with Martha and Jay. All right, Martha, this episode's all about ice skating. Did you ice skate as a kid? Yes, me and my sister, sisters, both of them, uh, we always did go ice skating at least once or twice in the winter. We, growing up, um, always lived really close to an ice rink, like within walking distance. If my mom wasn't driving us, we were walking ourselves there and doing it ourselves. Nice. I basically grew up at the arena in Silver Bay. My brother <laughs> played hockey. I did not, but I did do. I did take some figure skating lessons as a kid. But way, way, way back in the day when I was really young, um, my, we lived in Laverne, Minnesota, which is in the southwestern corner, and they had an outdoor arena back when my brother played hockey. No indoor arena, so everything was outdoors, no matter how cold it got. But next to the arena where he would play hockey, there was a, like, kind of like what they have in Grammarie here. They have, like, a practice, I don't know, like a, a free mini skate rink. mini rink, uh, and I would skate there while my brother was playing hockey, so <laughs> that was my... to be out there with the big boys? No. <laughs> I would have been too... Well, he was like a peewee, and I was probably... I'm having this memory. I must have been four, maybe five. Yeah. And just out there skating while he played hockey. <laughs> so I wasn't quite old enough to play hockey myself, but he would. So I spent a lot of time in arenas. Mm-hmm. First of all, I have to apologize today because I have a cold, so I sound a little congested, I think. And if I sniffle, I'll try to edit that out so you don't have to hear it. But <laughs> <clears throat> it's there just so everybody's aware. But ice skating on the North Shore is something a lot of people do, and there are yes. quite a few places you can go and do it. Mm-hmm. Do you know of any that are still in Duluth that you used to go to that are still there? I know on the point at one of the community centers, they do make it into an ice rink in the winter, and then Bayfront, I'm actually... I, I actually um. don't know if they still do it, but growing up, they did turn the other side of like the warming house or what's now the concession thing for uh Bentleyville Bentley on the other side of that they used to have an ice rink and then um in West Duluth they have two that I know of one at um Memorial Park and then the other one is by the Irving School Apartments we lived there when I was a kid and so we would go down there and skate um I don't know if Lincoln Park still does theirs, but at their little warming hut, they had a field that they would turn into an ice rink in the winter. So lots of like community local options. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then the deck yeah, clearly of does their, yeah. their like family skate. So you could check online at the deck arena to figure out the hours and how much that costs. I'm pretty sure there is a charge for skating at the deck. Um, most of the community ones, if you have your own skates... Yep. You can bring your own skate for free. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a few other places on the North Shore that you could skate, depending on where you are visiting. If this is something you want to do while you're visiting up here, check out the Two Harbors Arena. I think that's actually called the Lake County Arena, and that's located in Two Harbors, right by the hospital. So if you are familiar with Two Harbors, they do have an open skate there. I don't know how often it happens. It is an indoor rink, so... Uh, Check out probably the City of Two Harbors website for hours on that. They also have a, a, or they have an outdoor rink at Odegaard Park, and that is on 8th Street in, I believe it's on 8th Street (laughs) in Two Harbors. Um, I have not been there. I was there when I was a kid, but that was probably... 25 years ago now? (laughs) So who knows? (laughs) So who knows what's going on there these days? Um... Have not made it back to Odegaard Park and Two Harbors in quite a few years. Back in Silver Bay, there used to be an outdoor rink behind the arena that was pretty much open all the time. You could just go there and skate around. 
I do not believe it's still there. I think the only skating opportunities you have in Silver Bay is the indoor arena, the Ruck, Rukovic, Rukovic? <laughs> the Ruck Arena. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Where I grew up, uh, there is open skating. I think it's only one day a week or so. So again, check their website, uh, the City of Silver Bay website. It'll tell you when there's open skating and how much it costs at the indoor rink there. Heading up the shore, Birch Grove in Tofty has an outdoor rink. They oh, yeah. also have a warming That's house so nice. and some skate rentals there. So if you don't have skates or if you didn't bring your skates but you want to go skating, that's a great place to go. Right there in Tofty by the Birch Grove School. And you can skate, get some, rent some skates. I think it's limited availability, so don't bank on it having your size exactly. <laughs> don't be disappointed when you get there and they have none. Exactly. They do a great job of maintaining it. Moving up the shore, Lucent Resort actually has a really nice rink that they started a couple of years ago. Where? at the resort really yeah so i think you have i'm guessing you probably have to be a guest of the resort yeah um or know somebody <laughs> but if you're staying I mean, that's kind of cool yeah if you're staying at lutzen resort there's a great rink there that you can enjoy and right there you know it overlooks like superior so it's probably awesome. the rink I mean, that's with the best smart view. i mm -hmm. mean they have it's up on there with the ski hill might as well have a skating rink too yeah so Right there on the lake, nice views, and I believe you have to be a guest, but if you are, it's there for you. Heading up the shore again, we uh, get to Grand Marais, and Grand Marais has a, it's always had an outdoor rink and then like a littler rink up top by the warming house, but actually today, part of this episode, we're going to be going to the grand opening of the brand new warming house at the <sighs> Grand Marais uh, ice skating rink, which is located at the Cook County Community Center. So kind of up on the hill by the Y and the school. So not down by the lake. It used to be, there used to be one on the rec, in the rec park. They removed that a few years ago. Do they still turn it into an ice rink down there? I don't think so. I mean, it would make sense if they have the one up here. Yeah. And this one's really well maintained. And now it has a brand new warming house. And I know it's going to have concessions, skate rentals, and some other things. So we're going to head up there and talk to Diane Booth, who is the director of the Cook County Community Center, and figure out what's going on with that. Finally, there's another one that a lot of people like to do up here, and I'm going to I'm gonna say two different places where you can go. And one I'm going to highly recommend you never, ever, ever, ever do. <laughs> <laughs> because it's very unsafe, and that is ice skating on Lake Superior. Ooh, yeah. Mm -mm. A lot of people do it. <laughs> no thanks. The videos they post are incredible. If you're on the North Shore Tribe Facebook page, you've probably seen it. If it gets cold enough, the lake does freeze. And in fact, in recent years, it's frozen over a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. I think it froze over last winter, did it not? I don't think it was last winter, but it was in the past three years because one of them, when I still worked at the beach... Oh, in yeah. Duluth, we had to wait to lifeguard for the summer because there were still <laughs> huge icebergs in the lake from when nothing melted until like mid-June. It was ridiculous. Little icebergs on the exterior in Just, June. Like, we had to like clear off the guard stand of like huge things of snow. Like we actually had to do some damage control out there with that yep. year. It was insane. And I do know, I mean, it froze over in 1991 or 92, 92. It froze over in 1992 because that was the year my family moved up here. And it was the first year in like 20 years that it had frozen over. It had pushed up these huge ice formations and it was pretty cool. I remember climbing around on them when oh, I was yeah. a kid. Not but safe, I, but interesting. I also remember <laughs> on that exact same day, my brother falling into the lake. <laughs> there you because go. even when it's completely frozen over, it's not completely frozen over. He yes. hit a soft spot. He went in. He's very lucky that he has super quick re reflexes because he just sort of I remember watching him he like grabbed himself and just pulled himself up really fast and my dad was there in like a second and he grabbed him and I just remember running up the hill to the car and my dad putting him in the <laughs> oh, no. passenger seat and then cranking, cranking up, up the, the heat, heat. <laughs> and I was just like oh my god what just happened so Lake Superior should not be something you go out on even in the middle of winter no. even when it looks like it's frozen solid mm -mm. many people do and again, the videos are amazing and it looks so nice, but it's not safe. So don't do that. Yes. A safer alternative. And there's a very small window window of time where this is something you can do is head up to the Gunflint Trail, 
find an inland lake. And you can also skate on inland lakes like on uh, Lax Lake near Silver Bay and, you know, any lake pretty much. Yeah. But you, ha- it's the timing is interesting because you have to wait for a really, really, really cold snap to hit before it snows. Because what happens is the ice freezes, but there's no snow layer on top. So you have this crystal clear yeah. view and you can see the lake, like the, the <laughs> lake bed beneath your feet. Like yeah. You're skating on what looks like water yeah but it's actually ice that makes me think of um winter camp oh, at yeah. camp miller one year i went they only did it one year they cleared a spot on sturgeon lake for us to like skate on i've never done it again <laughs> it's a different experience and it, it is it really is it kind of crackles beneath your feet which is just what i don't like really terrifying <laughs> but uh it's an experience so yeah. if you happen to be up on the north shore and you get that really, really crazy cold snap where it's like negative 30, but it hasn't snowed yet. Yeah. <laughs> that, maybe not that bad. <laughs> but when it gets well below freezing and it hasn't snowed and it stays that way for a few days, yeah. you know, I, I wouldn't go anytime in November. I'd wait till December for oh, this yeah. to happen. Uh, I know last year there was that moment where it was really cold for a few days. We are. But it has like negative 50 something days that we had. Oh my God. So everything froze (laughs) up, but did not have snow on it. So it's, it was crazy. Like some of the videos I saw, um, visit Cook County had, I think it was on their Instagram or their Facebook page. I don't remember which, an amazing video. I believe it was on Gunflint Lake. So check that out. It would have been last winter. Probably last December or very, very late November. (laughs) But again, be very, very careful when you are skating on top of a body of water. Don't do it alone. Don't do it alone. One. Two, have a rescue pack of some sort. Have some way to warm yourself up should you accidentally fall in. Have people who can help get you out and then rush you where you need to be and warm you up. That's the important thing. So it is a fun experience. It can be a safe experience, but it also has some amount of danger you should be aware of and try to avoid. So those are all the places I'm aware of that you can skate on the North Shore. I don't know of any others. If you're a crazy person like my brother, you build a rink in your own backyard, but... Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. (laughs) If you really want to skate that much, you can build your own (laughs) rink. Uh, Maybe not if you're only visiting, because that would take a lot of time and effort for just your weekend up here. But if skating, figure skating, ice skating, hockey skating, whatever, is your, on your list of want to do on your vacation. Your winter list. There's definitely places to do that up here, Mm -hmm. including places where you can rent skates if you don't have them, and warming houses, and concession booths. And that is where we are going next. So we are going to head up to the Cook County Community Center. And I am going to... uh try skating i'm so excited to see this actually so god it's been so long like junior year of high school haven't skated since i haven't put these skates on i've taken them with me everywhere i've moved since i like moved out and like moved to grand marais but they've just been hanging right next to my door and people always walk into the house and are like you skate and i'm like "Mm." I, I wouldn't skate. say I skate. I can if I really wanted to, but I'm at the age now where I'm like, do I really want to hurt myself? Well, do today I really want to try that. We're gonna find out. <laughs> we're gonna find out. So place your bets now on how hard Martha falls during her <laughs> skating adventure, and we'll be right back with Diane Booth, the director of the Cook County Community Center at the Community Center Warming House Grand Opening. Explore the North Shore is sponsored by Cascade Vacation Rentals. With 175 properties from Duluth to the Canadian border, you are sure to find the dream vacation rental for your next trip to the North Shore. And if coming to Grand Marais and staying here in the winter, which has a ton of activities, um, the Hooga Festival is going on right now, there's all sorts of different live music happening at the bars in the evenings, and things like that, plus of course ice skating at the Cook County Community Center, you could stay at Vintage Voyager. Vintage Voyager is a two-bedroom, one-bathroom vacation rental located right by downtown Grand Marais. In fact, it got its name because it's across the street from Voyager Brewing Company. So you can hit up Voyager Brewing Company, have some drinks, have some dinner, and walk right back to your rental. 
or walk downtown or even up the hill to the skating rink. So check that out. Again, the house is called Vintage Voyager, and you can reserve that online at www.cascadevacationrentals.com. And don't forget to use promo code PODCAST to get the largest percent off discount available at any given time. That excludes holidays and some properties. But check them out at cascadevacationrentals.com and find the property that's perfect for your next North Shore vacation. Um, I'm Diane Booth. We are at the Cook County Community Center in Grand Marais. And we are standing outside of a brand new building that was just constructed. Would you tell me about it? Sure. Um, We've been trying to get a new warming house uh, at this rink for probably about 20 years. It's been a long project. The old uh, warming house that we had was actually brought up in like 1994 on skids from down by the lake. Oh, and oh it had, from the rec park. From the rec park. And it had holes in it. And, you know, I mean, it really was really small and we didn't have any concessions. And so we've been trying to get um, this nice newer facility for a long time. And it's finally here. And it's finally here. And today is the, we're Sunday, January 6th. Is that correct? I think it's the 5th today. It's the 5th. <laughs> okay. All right. It's Sunday, January 5th, and this is the grand opening. This is the grand opening. We've been open before now, but we thought it would be fun to be here on a Sunday afternoon, and I have board members. This is Joan Farnham. She's we a board member. We worked hard for this. We're so happy with this. <laughs> um, and everybody is here and trying to make uh, a fun day with free food, free oh. ice skating. And so as a result, you know, we hope that more and more kids will come. And you have... You have two different rinks. I we see. have a large uh, hockey rink, yep, and we also have a smaller pleasure little rink. Um, so if kids are a little bit hesitant to go down where the big boys are, the big <laughs> girls or adults, they can actually learn to skate on the little tiny pond, uh, pushing a little chair. Oh. So it works well. And you have skate rentals and food? We do have skate rentals. We have a concession stand. Today the, f- the food is free, but we also will be selling food anytime the warming house is open and staffed, yes. And, and I think I think we're going to get a skate sharpener, right? Our skate sharpener is coming so that what people will also be able to sharpen their skates. That is awesome. great. And um, when, are, when are the hours? When is it open? Um, usually when school is in session, it's open Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from after school, 3.30 till 7 p.m. Um, Saturdays it's open from, and when there's no school, from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then Sundays, 11 a.m. to 4.30. Well, that's the warming house, but you can go in the rink anytime. Right. Even right. if the warming house isn't open, people come and skate, and that's just fine. And we have... Go ahead. Two vault <laughs> toilets. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> with, with heat in them. I have heat in. We don't have to use the no, porta potty. No. The porta potty will disappear soon. Oh, that's Isn't exciting. Isn't that awesome? And will this be open at all in the summer? Yes, in the summertime, we are, will be running. The YMCA is going to move their summer kids camp here. Ooh. We currently host it in the 4-H building, which is yeah. not the best location. So is they will be hosted out of this building. And yeah. then, of course, uh, since we have the ball fields here, if they want to run concessions, out of the out of here for the little league field they can do that as well and we can have events here I mean people who get married here they can have parties here I was gonna say that it's quite a big space in there. Really there's nice. probably 30 people in there right now right not to mention the 25 30 that are currently <laughs> on the rink I mean this yeah. is a big day for you uh, well, I think we just feel like it's a culmination of efforts. You know, the bonding that helped pay for this also has paid for a bland, brand new uh, f- 5 to 12-year-old uh, playground that was kind of falling apart. And then we put in a brand new 0 to 5 playground as well, which we'll finish in the spring. So it's kind of a nice sprucing up of the grounds around here. And but, also, right next to it is this new community garden right. with, uh, yes, with uh, oh. raised beds. Oh. Yes, and so we. This is this has just become thanks to Diane. Yeah, this incredible place for people to be outdoors. Well, I miss the old garden that used to be over there. I, I noticed it wasn't up right. this last summer. Right, we moved all of it. I've been working out here. This is our second year with the community garden. We'll be adding five more new beds this year, and we'll just continue to grow. And we're looking at a grant for a little greenhouse, and we'll just continue to let it grow. And how can somebody become involved in the garden? They just have to talk to me. 387 <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> well, that's it. I think we're going to... Well, Martha's going to try to skate. All right. <laughs> 
you. <laughs> and stay and have some food because yes. I made a ton of food. All what right. You do? The soup's really great. Well, thank you, Diana. Yeah, thank, thank you, you Joan. You're I'm welcome. very excited for this. My very kids good. will love it. All, All right. right. Thank you. Exploring the North Shore is sponsored by The Big Lake. The Big Lake is an approachable art gallery and gift shop located in the beautiful harbor town of Grand Marais, Minnesota, as well as online at thebiglakelife.com. The Big Lake provides a beautifully curated and fun shopping experience to complement your North Shore adventures with artists and products that reflect the culture, values, allure, and lifestyle of the North Shore. Shop online at www.thebiglakelife.com and use promo code EXPLORE for 15% off your first online order. It is very busy to hear, very loud, but we just wanted to come inside and say, you know, it's big, it's nice, it's new, it has toilets, which is awesome. Hey, cookies, they have cookies. So they have hot dogs, chili dogs, chicken soup. So obviously by the time this gets released, the open house is over, but the warming house will be open. Okay, so we're leaving the warming house. Martha has her skates on. Um, there is going to be a video of this, so whatever happens, um, we will post the video. Hold on, I want to videotape this for my cell phone as Do well. I? I left my mittens in there. That's okay, you don't need mittens. What it's if hard. I fall and need to get back up? It's like 32 degrees out here. You'll be fine. Uh huh, Jay, how about you get out here? It's about. Oh my it's god. About. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Oh, yeah, she's out there. She's out there. She's skating. She didn't fall. A little wobbly. You know, you can always grab a chair if you need it. Should I get a chair? I see you on a phone for it. I gotta say, I'm impressed. You've been out there for a minute now. You haven't fallen yet. Here we go. She's got a chair. Do like a spin. It's harder. <laughs> Cause it's not your height. Do a spin. Do you want me to fall? Kind of. All right, are you ready? All right, Martha's gonna. Okay, she has a GoPro in her hand, so this is a uh, multi-angle video we got going on here. Here she goes. <laughs> she did. Oh, she did a spin. All right. <laughs> and she did another spin without falling. Yeah. I guess you can still skate after like six years of not doing it. <laughs> yes. not oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and she survived. Huh? You're getting braver. Should I, get, should I go backwards? <laughs> go backwards towards me. Just don't hit me. There's too many rough spots, I keep catching stuff. You should be able to just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I try that, I'm gonna fall backwards. You can do it though, come on. Here she goes, she's going backwards. It's not snow. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. There is, it did snow today, so I think yes. they had cleared the snow off before the festivities oh, started. But we got a, maybe an inch of snow. So, <laughs> should we go down there and try it maybe? It doesn't look See. like they're playing hockey anymore. All right. Do you want to adventure down? Okay. We're going to go down to the main rink. So again, we've been skating up on the upper half of oh, oh. the training rink. <laughs> it's the training <laughs> You're rink. not getting me. I didn't fall. Oh, she almost fell. Watch it was so close. And now we are going to head down to the real rink. And they are shoveling this one off as we speak. So we might have a little more smoothness. As Martha learns how to walk on skates. Hey. She's gonna fall. <laughs> All right, it's steps. It's not a. I thought it was a slope, but it turns out it's steps, which might make it a little bit easier. <laughs> Don't worry, I guarantee I've embarrassed myself more than you. I had shoes on and I slipped on the other. <laughs> Okay, we are down at the lower rink, which is a little more shoveled off. Let's see. Here we go. 
Martha's out there. All right, she did a nice little spin there. Getting. <laughs> yeah, I don't think backwards is gonna happen. Okay. Hey, but you're getting forward going pretty good. Except for there where you almost just fell. Oh, and, and there where she also almost just fell. Not the smoothest skating in the world, but she has not fallen. Yet. Yet. It'll be when we like leave that I tell my team. Like we're like, okay Martha, let's get off the rink now. It's time to go. <laughs> Are you reminiscing about your childhood skating in Duluth? Yes. Me and my sisters would. I don't really think my brother ever went, but I think when we lived in Lincoln, we probably tried to skate like once, but they didn't have that awesome of a rink. But yeah, didn't skate often, but we did always try and skate like once a winter. I fell a lot more then. I'm keeping my, keeping my cool and not <laughs> falling all over the place somehow. Right now I'm just trying to distract you so you don't realize you're just standing here. So when you go to yeah. move again, that's what's going to I'm not going to take this with me when I move. No, that's I'm going gonna, gonna to take this from you. Moment. My feet already hurt. So this is why I don't skate anymore. Because my feet hurt. Alright, I'll do one more, one end to the other, and then I'll be done. Alright, here she goes. I'll be done then. Martha's going to skate the length of the rink. This is an official uh, hockey sized rink. We do not have hockey up in Grand Marais. Um, the hockey team up here actually travels down to Silver Bay and two harbors and they have a combined team called the North Shore Storm. So there is hockey up here it just does not happen here in Grand Marais. But hey Martha made it to the end she's coming back looking good a little wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> just like there's spots every once in a while that like catch you. <sighs> Done! <laughs> Done! And uh, in a little bit in the rink's defense, it has been in the mid 30s recently. Yeah, it's recently. been pretty uh, sloshy outside. So this is some pretty solid ice. My driveway can't decide whether it wants to be ice or snow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's head back and you can get your shoes back on and... Yes. No falling. <laughs> no falling. Looking good. <laughs> oh, that was not graceful at all, but you didn't fall. It was there to stop me and I needed something to stop me. <laughs> oh, I almost just fell. <laughs> Hey Martha, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda said you didn't fall at all. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever bet that I would, you all lost. I stayed upright, I did not fall. There were some stumbles, there was a oh, couple yeah. times where I'm like, ah, oh, she's going down. Oh, she's going down. Yeah, no, there were a couple times where I'm like, oh God, here it goes, here it goes. But I, I stayed on my two feet and I managed to not fall or hurt myself at all. I am very, very proud of you, but <laughs> the video would have been so much better if you fall. <laughs> That being said, we will have a video companion to this podcast. You can check that out on our Facebook page. So just go to Exploring the North Shore on the Facebook. Find us there. You can also find us on Instagram. I'll be posting some pictures of the warming house. And I'm trying to remember if I actually took any pictures of you skating. I took video. So I think I didn't take pictures because I was too busy taking video of you skating. <laughs> you don't want blurry pictures of me like jerking all Blurrier. around because I'm trying not to fall. So check that out on Instagram. <laughs> Again, exploring the North Shore. And for the rest of this month, we are going to be featuring topics of outdoor adventures that you can go on in the wintertime in the winter. on the North Shore. So we just did ice skating, which is mostly outdoors up here, although there are a few indoor options, should mm -hmm. that be what you prefer. Uh, we're going to go snowshoeing. Yeah. I know you're excited for that. I am. Uh, I've wanted to do that since I moved up here. But one, I don't have snowshoes. And two, so far since I've lived up here, I've spent most of my winter in the pool. <laughs> well, like figure skates and hockey skates, there are some places where you can rent or even get for free. Maybe I'll have to look into that. But there are places where you can get snowshoes to rent. That's awesome. So we will discuss that as well as places to go and ways to do it in, um, actually that'll be our 
February episode. For the next episode, Joe is coming <laughs> back, so you get a little break. And Joe is going to come back, and we are going to be going ice fishing up on the Gunflint Trail. And that is going to be a pretty cool crossover episode with the Boundary Waters podcast, which is another podcast all about things up here on the North Shore, but more specifically inside the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness, which is you know up on the Gunflint Trail is how you get there from here. And I'm going to have all three hosts... <laughs> That's the plan anyway. We'll see. <laughs> Squeeze into a small little... We're going to... Yeah. Four people <laughs> tucked into a little ice fishing house. I don't. I haven't been ice fishing since I was probably in middle school. I've never gone and never really felt the urge <laughs> to. Skating on the lake was, was a risky enough for me. I'm going to... I like to stay on the land when the water is frozen. <laughs> so Martha will be <laughs> at home in her warm house with her cat <laughs> while I'm I, it's supposed to be um, the weather forecast as of this moment again we're a whole week away from the fishing trip so uh, the weather forecast says it's supposed to be like negative eight that could change a million times I know. before then <laughs> but it's supposed to be cold we'll see bundle up bundle up that's what wool socks are for yeah exactly some hot there's no bad weather thermos. only bad clothing yes so if uh, you're into these wintertime outdoor adventures, worry not because the entire month of January and the entire month of February and probably at least the first episode of March is going to be about all the fun things you can do activities. outside on the North Shore when it's cold out, which is <laughs> all winter long. It's how we end our year and how we start it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So for Exploring the North Shore... I'm Martha. And I'm Jay. And we'll see you again in two weeks. Hello everyone, Jay here again. Thank you for sticking around after the episode to hear the big announcement. So here it is. Exploring the North Shore is becoming its own website. So we've compiled together all the articles and different features that we've done. Um, we've featured on the podcast, but also other North Shore things that you can see and do and experience. I'm calling that the Explore Guide. And it's a bunch of articles that you can read through to plan out your next North Shore vacation. Of course, some of them have been mentioned on the podcast. Others haven't been mentioned yet, but we plan to. And just go on there if you want to see what you can do and where you can go. It's in kind of a pre-launch form right now because I haven't written out every article I want to write out, but we're getting there. And you can check it out right now at exploringnorthshore.com to see what we have going on. Now, in addition to the Explorer Guide articles, I'm also building out an entire area business guide. So the different restaurants you can go to, the different stores on the North Shore, tour guides. I even have a section for content creators. So bloggers and other podcasts and Instagram pages you can follow. Anything to just get you excited and really into your visit on the North Shore. It is all gonna be on there. So if you're a business and you're up here on the North Shore, or if you cater to guests and visitors of the North Shore, check out exploringnorthshore.com and then click on the services tab and then click on add your listing because you can get a free listing. That's right, completely free listing on Exploring the North Shore. I want this website to become a really fun and interesting way to find different businesses and to just explore everything the North Shore has to offer. So visitors can go on to find a place to stay or a place to eat or a place to shop. And then of course, businesses can find more visitors that way as well. There will also be, of course, the articles about the podcast episodes and other things that we have going on. There's just a ton going on on this website. And I've been working really hard on it for the past few months, and it's finally ready to be really seen. And then, of course, have your listings added to if you're a business owner. Again, it is exploringnorthshore.com. 
check it out and keep following it over the next couple of months as we add a lot more articles and more material and just more things to do and way more things in our short. I'm assuming if you're listening to this podcast, you're either a big fan, a frequent visitor, someone who wants to be a frequent visitor, or maybe even you live up here. So this is a resource for everybody. And of course, you can visit us on Facebook at Exploring the North Shore and Instagram as it, at Exploring North Shore. So all those different places to see all things North Shore. All right. Well, thank you for checking it out. Let me know if you have any feedback. We do have an article suggestion that can also be a suggestion for a different podcast episode. So if you've been sitting on a uh, idea that you have, feel free to share it there. It's ExploringNorthShore.com. Thanks, and I'll see you again in a couple of weeks.